Okay, so a bit of better fair trading on the horse racing here. Um, I'm going to hopefully execute a swing trade um, on this horse race that's in front of us at Market Raisin. Um, you can see it's a two mile, seven furlong handicap hurdle. There's not a lot of activity going on in the market at the moment. Obviously looking at the Geeks Toy software for Betfair's exchange here to show us in real time what's happening on the betting exchange. Um, at the top of the screen, you can see £78,000 has been traded on this horse race at this point in time, which is minimal compared to what you're about to see in the next few minutes. Um, now I'll bring across the racing post uh, price history for these particular horses so we can see a little bit of the price action in the past um, and I can share that with you on the screen there if I just move that across um, to, to this screen for you so you can see it here Oops. so we've got the 140 of market raisin um, you can see the favorite has been popular here. it's gone three to one into 15 to eight um, was actually forecast a bigger price down the bottom there but there's not really a lot in this horse race that's actually challenging it because obviously if one price comes in then something else has to go out in the market all things um, are sort of inversely proportionate to each other in terms of pricing so you know where one goes down something else has to go up um, relatively proportionately anyway so Five minutes 25 to the start, um, and the market's just starting to speed up a little bit in terms of the money flowing in, the traded volumes. You can see the dark green bars on the right there. And what I'm trying to weigh up here, looking at the Betfair charts along the bottom too, is is there anything in the market that is going to stop this um, current favourite from shortening? Because at this point in time, it looks like the market sentiment is actually with it. Um, the only thing here is Diamond Twin in the second ladder. Um, so you can see that there's been a little bit of money just come in there, nothing too significant. Um, and the others appear to be weak at this point, or very weak at this point in time, looking down at the historical prices. So really, this is a two-horse market to trade, um, at this point in time anyway. Things may change. Um, so the only thing that's putting me off a little uh, here is, is back in um, a doubling job, the now favourite, around about the 3.0 mark. Um, if I just show you alternate runners on the out there, just to show that they're, they're weak also and recent the ladders. But so, yeah, the reason I didn't really want to back it at 3.0 is one, the market is not um, active enough for me to feel comfortable and my risk is mitigated for, for a hot half decent size position anyway um, when the market's thinner now what we're seeing there sorry just to interrupt what, what we're seeing there is more money coming in and actually the price being pushed in so this horse is being backed which is why i've stacked a few 50s there because i'd like to get on but i'm not desperate to get on for a large stake and as i was saying just before i interrupted myself was that there's not you know when there's not enough flow in the market there's not enough traded volumes flowing through the market then it's easier to find yourself in an awkward position if the price goes against you because you haven't got the money to get out against so um, before i even started i'm thinking about mitigating risk and the downside rather than just the upside which is where plenty of people go wrong you know you start thinking about the money that you can make and you want to make obviously uh, but you don't necessarily think enough about the risk so manage the downside and the upside will come as the saying <laughs> this is the saying goes and you just see on the screen there it happened at a perfect timing so another chunk's come in the market there so 3k was matched up on the top um, traded volume bar and um, we can really highlight that when, when we're doing the recording uh, but Basically, the, my, my initial thoughts have been confirmed. This favourite is popular in terms of the market and the betting money. There's not a lot going against it. The second, if anything, so I'm keeping an eye on that second ladder there. You see my cursor going over it. And it's a question of if something changes significantly, then it may change our initial position. But what we're really trying to do here is just ride a small swing in the final minutes as the traded volumes come into the market on the countdown to post time and the market solidifies where it you know it appears it should be or the market sentiment currently is so i'm fine on the backside there obviously i've got my green red crossovers i don't want to go too um too heavy on the staking because there's not really a lot of money in this market there's been 145k matched but if you look on the the back and lay columns either side prices just bounced out here by the way so you know it's sort of a common thing for people when they're trading is they get frustrated because you know you open a position and you're like right this is shortening but that doesn't mean that it's only going to shorten constantly in the next few seconds the market is going to ebb and flow back and forth and that's what's happening here so i'm expecting it to bounce all the way back and lo and behold there it does so you know it's all about mindset really as well just showing you down at the start there the horses are getting down to the start 150 looks like the race is going to go off fairly promptly um 
but the market will ebb and flow back and forth and you can see it easier on the market overview chart over on the left but our overall view and the overall sentiment was fairly clear in this instance and you know it's easier when there's only a couple of horses that are typically sort of in the running uh, as they say in terms of the money flowing in the market which is the the lead to in this market um, as I said, you know, near the beginning of the recording, it's, it's pretty much a two-horse race in terms of traded volumes. And you can still see those dark green bars, which is money that's come into the market in the last 40 seconds, over on the right of this favourite here. And I'm just doing it for lower stakes, we're nearer to the start now, I don't want to get caught out. Um, I mean, look, 12, 15 quid, it, it adds up quick enough and you keep doing it race after race. So there's no need to be greedy. You don't need to be trying to get 100 quid out of every race, um, particularly when it's lower liquidity. Not the best horse racing um, offering in the world here at Market Raisin. So hedge up there again, uh, just sort of kind of like scalping with a directional uh, view on where the market is is going in the short term based on the market sentiment but i don't want to get overexposed and caught out by those ebbs and flows back and forward but now you can see and this is a point worth making in the final sort of minute the final final couple of minutes before the race starts the volume is picked up significantly at the beginning of the recording there was only something like 60k matched on this market and now we're heading towards 200k and you can see that the flow of money coming into the market is a lot quicker but the whole time you see my cur cursor bouncing across between these two front ladders it's just a question of and i'm just scalping out a little bit extra here it's just a question of um identifying where the pressure points are in the market and then letting it ride out and letting it do its thing because you know we can't control what the market does as such. And again, look, another confirming flurry. So the underlying sentiment was really quite clear in this particular instance the whole time through, but it is a case of, you know, right out the ebb and flow, not getting caught up in your head, and then obviously not getting overexposed with the race about to go off. So with 15 seconds past the post time, race is about to start, 16 quid, that'll do.